Hello, my name is Matt O'Connell and I am applying for the art teacher position. Uh, I first of all want to say thank you so much for this first round invitation. Um, my current position is I am doing my student teaching at Frost Junior High School in Schaumburg. Uh, I am teaching their 7th and 8th grade art classes. Uh, I am doing a comic book lesson and a lesson on clay. We're making clay phone holders. Uh, I just finished up my student teaching at Rolling Meadows High School where I taught their Art 1 class. We did an animation project and a lino cut project. Their 2D art class which did a digital painting and a gouache book cover. And then also their art portfolio class which did a mixed media project. I've been um, teaching part-time at a teaching art part-time at a school in Barrington, a not-for-profit art school in Barrington called Kaleidoscope School of Fine Art for the past eight years, um, since 2016, mostly during the summer, um, but they do offer classes during the spring and fall as well, which I've done. Uh, they also offer outreach classes to places like YMCA's and community centers, which I have also done. Uh, for my artistic background, I got my bachelor's degree in art from the University of Iowa. Um, after I graduated, I decided to go back to school for animation. So I went to the Art Institute of Chicago to get um, for animation, and they encouraged me to, um, if I really wanted to be in animation, to go to Los Angeles or to New York. So I just had a friend that moved to Los Angeles, so I went out there and I uh, I started to go to school at the Art Institute of Santa Monica, and I got a internship at DreamWorks Animation in their production, where I worked on several of their movies doing artistic development. Basically, I helped the artists uh, find reference materials for their drawings. Um, I realized I wanted to do more with art instead of production, so I took a position at a smaller animation studio called Titmouse Animation. Uh, that produced a lot of uh, animated shows for Cartoon Network uh, and Adult Swim. Uh, I worked for them for a while, and then after that I went and worked as a graphic designer for a company called Orin, which turned uh, children's books into uh, interactive apps. Um, so I did artwork and graphic design, UI design uh, for them. Um, in 2015, I decided to move back to Chicago from Los Angeles, so I moved back here, and that's when I started working the next year um, at the not-for-profit school in Barrington. Um, I'm interested at teaching at Glen Bard East for a few reasons. Uh, the most important reason being the uh, amount of classes that are offered for freshmen especially. Uh, was really impressive. Um, I love that there is painting, drawing, comics, film studies, uh, all sorts of different classes that they can take and not just, oh, art one. Um, I do see that there's also, you know, the intro to art, which is great, but I do love that there is the variety of classes too. Um, and all those classes that were mentioned uh, are all things that I love to do. Uh, they are my interests and my experience. Uh, so, um, I was really happy when I saw the, uh, those classes that were being offered. From watching the videos, uh, or the video on the Fine Arts, uh, the Glenbardi's Fine Arts website, uh, the classrooms and the photos look really great. It looks like a wonderful facility, uh, and the staff looks really friendly as well. Um, I recently, uh, on Sunday, went down to Greek Isles for my niece's birthday. She, we love that restaurant and right there in Lombard, and I, we drove right by uh, Glenbard East, so I got to see the outside of the facility too, uh, the school, and it looks really beautiful and amazing. Um, I really like that also that the mascot, the Rams, is an acronym for right attitude means success. I definitely agree with that statement. Uh, and I think that in the art classroom, especially, we have an opportunity to uh, change students' attitudes, uh, especially if they're having like a frustrating day at, uh, with their other classes. They can come in and just relax and kind of change that attitude uh, into a more successful one. Uh, and then finally, uh, the movie Lucas was filmed there, one of my favorite movies growing up uh, when I was a kid watching. Uh, so I thought that was pretty funny uh, and pretty cool when I started doing a little bit of research uh, into Glenbard East. 
Uh, but those are the main reasons why I would love to be a teacher there. So teaching is a second career for me. And um, my wife was really the one who helped me to decide to get into the teaching profession. Uh, she has been a teacher, a kindergarten teacher in Barrington for the over 20 years. Um, she absolutely loves teaching. And she kind of sparked uh, a little bit of something in me as well uh, to become a teacher. Uh, when I moved from Los Angeles back to Chicago in 2015, I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do something with art. Um, I had done a lot with sales as well, so I was kind of maybe doing something with sales, but I wanted to do something with art. And she, you know, said to me, well, why don't you become an art teacher? And, um, you know, I had thought about it before, but I didn't want to put the time in to go back to school in my 40s. Um, for two years and, um, you know, just put that commitment in. But now that I th I'm kind of on the tail end of it, I'm really glad that I did because um, the experience that I've had so far, student teaching and just going through my classes at NAU has been such a great opportunity and such a been a great experience learning how to become, um, you know, a really great art teacher. Um, the biggest influence on my career would probably be my student, uh, my cooperating teacher um, from my student teaching at Rolling Meadows High School, uh, Martha Nava. She's just an amazing, amazing art teacher. Um, she's got 28 years of experience, uh, and that really shows. And I was so, so uh, happy and so lucky to be uh, placed with her for my student teaching. Um, she does a great job with the students, um, you know, building connections, real connections with the students, coming up with really wonderful lessons, um, getting the students' artwork into uh, shows uh, around tons of different shows and opportunities like that, um, running the art club after school, which was always such a fun time and a uh, great environment to be in. Um, so she was the one who kind of... Um, showed me that high school was where I wanted to teach. Um, before that, I didn't really know, you know, what grade level. I've done mostly teaching for elementary, which I really enjoy. Um, but when I kind of got a little taste of what teaching in high school was like, that cemented my, um, not, then I knew that I had to be a high school art teacher. So I've had a couple experiences um, teaching that have helped me to understand the impact of race, culture, and ethnicity on teaching. Um, when I student taught at Rolling Meadows, their uh, student population is just over 50% minority. Um, so, you know, there was a lot of different, there was a lot of diversity in the classroom, which was wonderful. Um, being able to teach them was a great experience. Um, just a, another experience of, of teaching a different type of students. Uh, I've also learned a lot from my classes, uh, my master's degree classes at NIU, uh, about how to teach um, to uh, about different cultures and teach about different ethnicities um, and different artists. Uh, and probably the, the, biz, the biggest experience for me that helped me understand kind of the impact of uh, race and culture is uh, while I was doing outreach, this was a couple years back um, for Kaleidoscope, the school that I work for part-time, um, they had an outreach at a YMCA club in Carpentersville uh, for high schoolers. It was an after-school club and the director of the YMCA wanted to do a uh the art program based off of uh, masters. Uh, and when the first couple of classes that I taught them were, uh, were old masters and they had little to no interest in old dead white painters. Um, I kind of realized this and uh, I was still pretty new to teaching at the time. I hadn't taken any classes at NIU yet, um, but I did know enough that I needed to switch up what I was teaching them. So I uh, found some more contemporary artists, some more culturally diverse artists, and lo and behold, those lessons got a lot more student engagement. 
uh, and the students were a lot more interested in creating artwork for those lessons. Um, so, you know, just understanding the students and, you know, what kind of art they are interested in is so important and uh, can be impacted from that race and culture. So the most interesting thing about me that's not on my resume, um, I have a beautiful wife and lovely daughter who is five. They are kind of my world. Um, so I think that's really interesting. Um, but I'm also a pretty big vintage toy collector, as you can maybe see from all this stuff behind you. Um, but I collect a lot of toys from the 1980s and early 90s. Um, I use them a lot for reference in my artwork. Uh, I also have a big comic book collection uh, and uh, art collection as well. So um, I love to update my office and keep it um, with lots of fun things. <laughs>